All right, so we are going to go through now the steps and how to create your animated Christmas card. Uh, first things first, create a new uh, composition. We're going to call it Animated Christmas Card. Now you're going to have to do some different stuff in terms of 3D spacing and that kind of stuff. I'm setting mine to one minute. So now I have my blank canvas here. Remember, black equals blank. And I'm going to go and just create the basic card shape. And I did that with the shapes tool here. Drug it out. Now, a couple of things you can do. Uh, here's what I'm going to teach you how to do first. I'm going to go ahead and show you to make your pre-comps and put everything together and, and before you start doing anything else. So I'm going to hit Control shift c and that's going to pre-compose this. I'm going to call it Christmas card front. All right, so now I have this composition. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because what I want to happen is I want them to be the same shape, same position, all of that stuff. So I'm going to go up here to Christmas card front. I'm going to hit Control C and then Control V to copy that. And then I'm going to rename it Christmas card back. All right, and I'm going to drag that down here. Now I'm going to make both of these 3D layers and I'm going to move the anchor point clicking this button here grab this anchor point here and I'm going to just drag it uh, to right on the edge and I'm going to do the same thing with this one and what that is is that's going to allow the card to rotate on that anchor point so when we go in later and we want to rotate the card to open it it's going to go right on that anchor point so now we got both cards set up I'm going to go in now and decorate the card. So here's my basic card. I'm going to go in, change the color. Got to have red because, well, it's Christmas. So boom, red. And now we have that. Now I'm going to just go in, real simple design. Merry Christmas. Oop. I hit the wrong enter button. That's okay. Now type tool again. And again, I expect your card to be far more beautifully designed than this one. Now, one of the things that you're going to do is you're going to open up your card. And if you think about when you open up things, especially paper, there's a point where you can't see the front or the back. You're looking down the design of the paper. And we're going to play off of that as we do our design. So you see here, right here, you can't see what's on there. So I'm going to go ahead come back reset that to zero and I'm gonna go ahead and animate this so set my wire rotation and put another one there so it sits for a moment and then we're gonna open it all the way out okay so 180 you thought you'd never use math didn't you now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread these out a little bit and I'm gonna go back to where it's at 90 degrees right there see how you can't see what's on the front or back of the card, I'm going to open up the card here. And I'm going to take these two layers and I am going to cut them. And in After Effects, you're not really cutting. You're supposed to do that in Premiere Pro, but I'm going to cut them using Control shift d See what it did is it basically cut it right there and made it a different layer. I'm going to hit Delete. Now, what I'm going to do next is where it gets a little tricky. You have to do a little bit of, uh, of different thought is that when you are looking at the front of the card your text is facing one way and it's the opposite when you're looking on the inside so ABTF2 students now I've got this and if I leave it just like this what's going to happen when the card opens out is it's going to be backwards so go back in here and grab this I hit scale I unlink this so that it doesn't do both and make it negative 100. Hopefully that makes sense because now when I open it out it's going to say AVTF2 students. So, ooh, see a mistake I made there? We need to go back here and get rid of AVTF2 students from right there. Make sure they don't overlap. They do currently. There we go. Boom. So now when it goes in and opens, it's going to look all pretty. Merry Christmas, AVTF to students. Now, the reason that I do it inside of pre-compositions is I can do whatever I want in here, 
and it doesn't affect the actual card. So if I wanted to go in and put a video here on the back, let's decorate that and make it all pretty. Um, let's see. I'm going to not stroke it. I'm going to fill it. We're going to make this green because, well, red and green are Christmas colors. Boom, not neon green. Let's go dark green. And I'm going to, let's see what kind of footage I have in my computer. Let's go to desktop. Ah, I shot the Weezer concert this weekend. Let's just grab this picture of the drummer. And if I take this picture and I put it on the card, A, it's going to be very large, so I have to scale it down. Okay. So, boom. And as long as I stay inside the boundaries of that card, it's going to look good in the final video. Okay, so if you want to, there's lots of things you can do when you have when you're using 3D space. You can add lights, you can add a camera, uh, and that's what I'm going to do now because I just want to add a camera. Now, cameras are really cool because if you hit C on your keyboard, you open up the camera tool and it lets you do all kinds of cool, crazy stuff. But don't get carried away because you can get really confused. What I'm going to do with the camera is I'm going to move it up to the top layer because, well, I'm anal like that. And I am going to set my position. I'm going to zoom in. So here we are, keyframe. And we're going to pull back to there. Actually pull back a little further than we did originally so we can see the full card open out. Boom. And then we're going to zoom into the picture. So I'm going to just put a dead keyframe there and go back in. Don't want to rotate. So now, we're going to track, oh, and there's the guy from Weezer. So now, my Christmas card is going to look like this. Oh, look, it's fading away. It's opening. And there's the guy from Weezer. So that's what you're going to do. And, and, and again, I say you stay inside those two pre-comps, your card front, card back. You can do whatever you want inside those. Uh, some of the things that people have asked me about is how do you make snow? Well, wonderful After Effects has a snow effect. Boom. And we're going to make it snow on the card. Actually, let's do this. Let's create a new layer. Call it solid. And this is a really easy thing to do and allows you to, to manage your snow. So now I have that, and I'm going to shrink it down to the size of the card. Okay. And there's probably an easier way of doing this. But, well, I don't really think about that right now. And now I'm going to add the snowfall onto that. Now, go in here. You have transfer modes. And you go to screen. Boom. And as you can see there, it is snowing on the card. We're going to make the huge flakes. Uh, we're going to drop the number of them. We're going to vary the size like 100%. We're going to make it really deep. Uh, we're going to make the wind blow. And we're going to spread them out a little bit. So now, it's going to be snowing in my card. Yay. Okay, so that's how you do it. Quick, easy way to do it. Uh, remember, for your project, you have to have composited footage and all that kind of stuff to make it really 